Boy, boy! Hello! It's a uh, me! Mario! <laughs> I mean, I mean Flario! Yeah! <laughs> and I tell you what, we're gonna make it rain in this black! <laughs> oh, 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 is a third-person, class-based shooter that puts you on one of two teams that are gonna compete for cash, prizes, or endorsements. Now, the art style is pretty... What's that? A rip-off of Team Fortress 2? All right, I had to get that out of the way. Yes, it takes its obvious inspiration from Team Fortress 2, but give it a break. Just because it has a similar art style doesn't mean it's a direct ripoff. If you're gonna dismiss it without even giving it a chance, that, that would be one big stupid mistake. And you wanna know why? Because Monday Night Combat is fun. It's addicting. The game blends shooter elements, class upgrades, tower defense, and competing for these endorsements and cash in one single game. It all makes for a very tight and focused gameplay experience, the likes of which I don't think is on Xbox Live right now. I said it once and I'll say it again, I hate games where you die if somebody breathes on you wrong. You walk around the corner, bam, you're dead. It's fucking done, you're done. You're dead and you're done. Oh shit, I just ran into the enemy base, there's like five of them here on the- Oh, oh I see him, get him. Oh, I need some help. Oh. It's nearly impossible to form complex maneuvers like that. But here, your characters can take a few hits before they go down, especially as they earn juice for killing enemies, which you can then execute to get extra armor, which can then let you go up against classes that you might not normally be able to take on. And all of this makes for an easier time when you wanna execute an actual game plan with your team members. Now listen, the core game is addicting. You wanna know why? Because even when I had way more deaths than kills, I was still having fun. Once you get over the learning curve for the different classes, that ratio is going to even out, especially if you get smart and start following somebody else, team up with them. There's a good variety here. You got six character classes. We got the assault class. Stand aside. I take long steps. The tank class. I live for this. The Gunner class. Ooh, let's do this tiki style. You miss the support class, who looks kind of familiar. The water that supports the jet ski is the same that engulfs it. We got a sniper class. Alright. I got a plan and I need one more. Who wants to take a bullet for him? And we got a really cool ninja assassin class. Now all of these have different strengths and weaknesses. Though some could argue that maybe some classes are overpowered. For example, the support class with his fire base. But you see, I haven't seen anybody dominate with a particular class yet. Personally, I think it's been finely tuned and balanced. Which makes sense because there's only two game modes. And they put a lot of focus and detail in those two. Your first is Blitz, which is basically four player cooperative where you go up against increasing difficulties, which are waves and waves of enemy bots. But the meat of the game is in crossfire mode. This mode is it's far from a standard deathmatch game where the people with the best aim dominate. And that's because you don't exactly have direct control over the way the game wins immediately. What you have to do is essentially escort your bots to the enemy base because the bots are the only ones that can take down the shields on your opponent's goal. Now once those shields are down, you can wail on that goal and destroy it. The first person to destroy the opponent's goal wins the game. If that doesn't happen, it's sent into overtime, which are going to spawn the biggest 
bots in the game, jack bots. There's gonna be a bunch of them and it, all hell breaks loose in overtime. It's pretty fun. Now I wish the game had a more substantial tutorial because it took me a while to figure this out. You can actually spawn more bots. You could pay $100 at your base and it'll spawn bots that are unique to each class. I'm gonna spawn at the pub. Out here is doing their job. Go get him, Gremlin. And these will allow you to flood your opponent with more bots to take advantage of a situation when you've knocked down all their turret. I had to figure that one out the hard way after a lot of games that I could have won. And that's because the tutorial is hidden in the help and options menu. It's also shockingly short seeming to focus on just general gameplay elements and only features the assault class. Well, what about the other classes? And for that matter, what about all the cutscenes in the life that we saw in the trailers? The characters were even watching a funny commercial. Introducing the amazing new Ammo Mule Combo Cooler with special pneumatic reloading system on one side and ready set bacon, portable bacon cooker on the other. Extra ammo with an extra helping of bacon to go anytime, anywhere. Ooh, let's try that again. So sad. Ammo Mule Combo Cooler, keep your ammo cool. Enter bacon hot. Official cooler of Monday Night Combat. But none of that seems to be in the game. And Monday Night Combat could have benefited a lot from like a story mode tutorial that has these cutscenes and funny bits in between the different missions that teach you how to play the various classes. And also for trying to set up some sort of team sport with the whole league devoted to it, there's only two teams, the Icebots and the Hotshots every match. And I can't help but wonder what would happen if there were more teams, if this idea was expanded on. Maybe your side votes on which team they want to be, and those teams have unique skills and abilities. Despite this, Monday Night Combat has been a lot of fun and very addicting, especially if you're playing with a group of friends. Hell, I played Crossfire mode for like five hours straight. I just wish we had more game modes than Blitz and Crossfire. It can get a little repetitive. And the maps themselves seem to repeat. I know there must be like six or more, but it really just feels like two or three. But ultimately, Monday Night Combat is gonna get a final verdict of seven out of 10. It is a great game with clean graphics and really nice animation. You can play this game split screen online or with a friend on your couch. You can take that friend go online into crossfire mode using a guest account. Hell, there's even a party lobby. More games need these kinds of online features. Uber indeed. Now granted, you're gonna see all that this game has to offer in maybe five or six hours, but I can see myself pick this thing back up with friends from time to time. I feel that it's an A-plus title held back only by its limited modes and maps. And it's a good thing that I am left wanting more. And next to Battlefield 1942, this may be the best online shooter on the Xbox Live. It's certainly the best third-person shooter and serious contender for the best of Summer of Arcade 2010. If this is the kind of quality that newcomer Uber Entertainment puts out for their first game, I cannot wait to see what they come up with next. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Here, try some of this.